Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Cypress API automation series. So today we are going to talk about what is a delete call. Very simple, very straightforward. And we will take the same example from gores.co.in. And they have uh, given one delete API or delete endpoint also. Public v1 users 123 and this is for delete. And you have to use HTTP delete method here, right? So what we have to do is, uh, I'll show you first in uh, Postman, we will create one user, a new brand user, and then we will fetch the user ID from there. And then we will use the same ID in the delete call because in the delete call, you have to pass the user ID in the path parameter as a path parameter in the URL, right? So this one, two, three, we will be taking at the runtime dynamically from the post call. And then the same user ID we will be using in delete call. Exactly same thing we did for put call also, right? So let's do one thing. So this is my post call and uh, this is my URL v1 users and I'm going to create a new user over here. For example, let's see, I have created test automation uh, Cypress. Okay, this is a name and the email ID I'm writing, let's see, Naveen uh, Cypress at the rate gmail.com status is active. This is the post call and this is a URL and this is the JSON body and let's send this request. And you can see that uh, user got created. The ID is 1453. You can cross check with the get call also with 1453 here, the user got created or not. Send the request and you can see the same user we are getting it. Now I want to delete the same user which got created through the post call. So I'll be copy this, uh, this ID and then I'll go to my delete call. The request will be with the delete call. So HTTP method you select as delete. And here the URL is exactly same. And after user slash, you have to write the user ID that you have already captured. You can see that after users and the user ID, you capture it. And the, in the header, same authorization header that you have to pass that we have already discussed in the last chapters, be it a token that you have to pass. And let's hit this and then let's see what exactly we get. So when you send the request, here you are getting the code is equal to 204. It means the user got deleted. There is no metadata, there is no data for this user. This user is completely deleted. And you can cross check with this get call also. Now, once again, you run it. And here you can see, okay, the resource not found and code is 404 meta null, right? So this is a complete end-to-end -end scenario. First, create the user, always create the user. Don't use the existing user for your test automation point of view because you never know if you're doing the hard coded values and tomorrow if you're running the same test, the user is already deleted and you are using the same user ID, it will not work. So better you first create a brand user and use the same user to delete in the delete API as well with the help of user ID. So let's exactly do the same thing in our Cypress code also. So let's see how to do that. So what exactly I'm going to do that? Okay. Yeah. Under this particular folder, right click on it and create a new file. And this time I'm going to create delete user.js file. And then first we have to create a post. So I'll do one thing, the entire post call that whatever we have returned, I'm just going to copy from here and then paste it over here. Fine. And uh, let's say this is my delete user request. And after that first API will be create user. So I'm using the same, uh, okay. Okay. If you want, don't want to use the test email, you can just, uh, just remove it and access token. I have already declared. This is the access token that I'm going to use it. First, you have to do a create user. I don't want to use fixture as of now, just remove it fixture also and uh, remove the bracket for fixture as well from here in the closing bracket. And this is a post call authentication. I'm using it. And then I'm using some uh, body. So body, let's see, I'll just take it from here. So let's take this body and we will update the body once again. So let's uh, take this one. Okay. And test automation Cypress. I'll write, this is time test automation Cypress user that we have already created. Let's add some more and proper name here, test automation Cypress user. And this is fine. Test Naveen Cypress user at the rate gmail.com status is active. So user will be created. I'll get the response. I'll just check. Okay. Yeah. All these couple of properties. So let's say I just want to check that. Okay. The email and the email and the name. So email is what this is my email Naveen Cypress at the rate gmail.com in my assertion. I'll be using it. So this is my, I'll be using this guy. Okay. And uh, the name will be what? The name will be this name, test automation Cypress user. So first create a post call 
create the user and then verify these two things and then from the response that we have already discussed in the last videos as well that you fetch the user id print it on the console with the help of cy.log and then what we have to do we have to do a delete user not update delete user so we have to use delete call so delete method we have to use it here so cy.request once again in the this in this particular then block so create a next then block do not create any next it block guys it block means otherwise you are going to create a new test case here right and test case should not be should not be dependent on the previous test case that okay first you create uh, create user it block then another it block you are creating for the delete user no within the same it block you have to use the end to end flow here fine so this is the then we are getting it user id and then delete the user so the method will be what a delete method fine and uh, this is the user id i'll be appending here this is the access token that i'm using it and then this time the request status should be equal to 204 it means the data got deleted and let me remove all these things we don't want to validate that perfect so the script is ready i think and then let's run it is it really working or not so i'll quickly repeat first create the user so this is my first api create the user with the post call then uh, create the user with this body and then verify couple of things make sure that okay 201 user got created and then i'm using in the same it block creating another then over here getting the response and then fetching the user id here and appending the user id with my url here with the delete call with the same authorization token and then the response we are getting from the response we are checking the status equal to 204 and that's it so let's see it is working or not so i'll open my cypress and the delete user is displaying over here and let's run it and let's see awesome see within a one shot it got created created 201 got created you can see naveen cypress at gmail.com username is test automation cypress user and this is the id it will fetch 1458 right this is the response we were okay we got from the post call and the same 1458 we are printing it on the console and then it's appended over here for the delete call can you see that it's a delete call here and then the expected response code is 204 equal to 204 like that if you really want to add some more response validation that also you can add it there simple script very straightforward after that that is your assignment after dot then you can write one more get call just to check that whatever the user id that you have captured the same user id is there or not that also can be added but if you're getting uh, not found here that is also fine up to delete call also that is absolutely fine here so the concept here is guys you have to create a single it block see this is my complete it block means a complete single test i have to create some people what they do they create two it blocks two test cases one is for create user in the second it block they use it for delete what if if i'm running only delete call then in that case it won't work because that is dependent on the first it block to create the user so better you combine them together in the single it block first create the user at the runtime get the user id and then use it over here so do not create any dependency between your test cases that is the best practice to write a test cases in any automation i hope it's clear now so that's all for this particular video guys please practice with multiple delete calls it's very very straightforward and very easy very fast and let me know if you have any issues please subscribe to the channel if you're learning something from this channel and uh, like and share with others who are looking for api automation with cypress and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all